Hello everyone, good day, good day, you bloody legends. Welcome to our first session, which is the number one podcast in the world, Pillow Talk. Today we'll be talking about the Boston Massacre, me. Crazy stuff happened during this massacre. Uh, so so settle me. in, you t- <laughs> jazz. Uh, anyways, this is a podcast ran by Evan and Russell. Yep. Name is Pillow Talk, if you just picked it up in the intro, because Pillow Talk is something beautiful. Anyways, first topic about the massacre. What was the massacre, Russell? What was it? The Boston Massacre was a deadly riot that occurred on March 5th, 1770, on King Street, Boston. It began as a street brawl between American colonists and a lone British soldier. (laughs) But it quickly escalated to a chaotic, bloody slaughter. The conflict energized anti-British sentiment and paved the way for the American Revolution. Very informative stuff there, Russell. Now for our next topic, uh, we'll talk about number of soldiers, give you an idea of how disruptive this really was to the society. Tensions ran high in Boston in early 1770. More than 2,000 British soldiers occupied the city of 16,000 colonists and tried to enforce Britain's tax laws. American colonists rebelled against the taxes they found repressive, rallying around the cry, no No taxation taxation without without representation. representation. Okay, Russell, take away on our third topic, please. Third topic is just, it's gonna be about the aftermath of the Boston Massacre. Boston Massacre had a major impact on relations between Britain and American colonists. It further incensed colonists already weary of British rule and unfair taxation and rouse them to fight for independence. Great job on that third topic. What's the fourth topic here, Evan? Fourth topic is what people were in charge. Um, so this is just talking about, um, I don't know, I know you don't know this, but this is talking about who were really involved. Who got this, this beep on the go? Okay, so the event was heavily publicized as a massacre by leading patriots such as Paul Revere, Samuel Adams, and Captain Tom Thomas Preston. During the time, there were eight British soldiers in charge of their own small battalion-like group of soldiers. Really insane stuff. Like, I know these people were trying to stand for their own thing, but they took a very goresome, horrible path to get there yeah just like in the book julius caesar very violent yeah all right take us away fifth topic is just going to be about how many people died Mm, i wonder how many but during the boss massacre there were many many men killed but very few were actually accounted for wow that's insane very few held on record more men were injured and died from injuries instead of being killed point back point blank like knife to the heart type 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 deal horrible way to go it is yeah I hope, I hope I goes out pretty with a bang. I want to have a legendary, you know. Let's stop it here. The late aftermath of the massacre. The late aftermath of the massacre. Over the next five years, the colonists continued their rebellion and staged the Boston Tea Party. I think there's another group doing that, actually. So, little clap for you guys. Okay. They formed the first... Continental Congress and defended their militia militia arsenal at Concord against the Redcoats, effectively launching the American Red. Yeah. Sixth topic here, Russell. What are we? Seven, what are we saying? Seven, seven. Seven. Oh, I can't count. How is it resolved? Well, you see, eleven months later, in March, seventeen seventy-six, British British forces had to evacuate. General George, George Washington's successful placement of fortifications and cannons on Dorchester Heights. This bloodless liberation of Boston brought an end to the hated eight year British occupation of the city. Insane. Okay, we'll take it away here with our last topic. What was the outcome of the best? Boston, oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. The Boston Massacre trial. No malice was found. All eight men were found not guilty of murder. Two, Hugh Montgomery and Matthew Kilroy were found guilty of manslaughter. A defense lawyer to the last 
Adams negotiated the sentences of Montgomery and Kilroy using an ancient precedent of English law. Errol, so I got a question for you. What is your takeaway here about the Boston Massacre? I think that uh, if you can take one thing from this, is that uh, a lot of blood was shed and peaceful protests is the way to go. Ah, I, love, I hear that. Now, uh, for another little topic here. The Boston Massacre, uh, we got to be so thankful that this is not how our society runs today. It's true, yeah. We have our struggles, but the bloodshed of that time, and everybody should be taught about this major event in well, human it's, history. It's kind, of, it's kind of like how the mandates are going now. Like you... it's It should be viral. It should be all over the world. It should be known. Well, in many ways, today has been great. And I'm sorry to cut this a little bit short, but we got a few errands to run, and we got to take off. But if there is one thing to take away from this session of Pillow Talk, it's that you should be very, very happy that none of this fighting nonsense is in today's age, like we were saying earlier. Like, this is just crazy that this happened. Love you all, and stay classy. Keep up the Pillow Talk. And shampoo to Mrs. Hair. She'll love that.